A few years ago, uh, Nick and Byron uh, introduced me to the idea of an Infinity or Solera uh, bourbon bottle. And so I started, got into that, and uh, Diana bought me this bottle. And, and it's got, it says Rex Hoover's, and, and it's got my initials, and it's got 2018. And the idea of a Solera bottle is that, or Infinity bottle, I, like, I prefer Infinity bottle, but is that you take and mix different bourbons, and I'm just using uh, a sure, uh, pure bourbon, not any rye or anything like that, and uh, started, started uh, got inter interested in it, and as I traveled, I would uh, see a bottle of bourbon that looked interesting and pick it up and put a little bit of it in there. And uh, I've actually kept, this has been going for a couple years now, a little over two years, and I've actually kept a photographic record of uh, of all all of the different bourbons that I that I have in my bottle, and and uh, then counting like we just now counted, and there's 40 different ones here that actually have bourbon in them, and then of course there's there's ones like this empty. This is this is one of my favorite bourbons that I've found so far. It's a Murray Hill by the Joseph Mangus Distillery it is great stuff. Uh, the, uh, as, I w as I went along with this idea, uh, well, it kinda, kinda part of the idea of a Slayer bottle is you just use it kinda, you know, you might, uh, if you, on special occasions, when the kids are home or with uh, old friends, you break out and everybody has a shot out of your Slayer bottle. And this is a blend now, there, there's well over, so far, well over 60 different bourbons in this. And uh, you know, that's, of course, everything I've got here, plus ones I've emptied, plus Nick and Byron and I have, uh, 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 when it's handy, we exchange the shots out of our bourbon bottles. So I've got, I've got their blends added in here. And it, uh, among other things, it's really quite good. Uh, the uh, and kind of the idea of it is is uh, sometime or another, uh, my one of my boys or boys will uh, inherit my Solera bottle, and you know maybe 50 years from now, uh, the uh, some grandsons will be toasting out of this bottle, and there'll be there'll, there'll be some of the bourbon in there that I started with. And I just think that's kind of neat. Um, and, and then a, another idea I had as I was going along is that, you know, if you, if you were to take about, say you, t say you had a get together and you, you took five shots out of this. Well, there's only about 25 shots in a bottle. So if you had a limited amount of uh, bourbon on hand, when you got ready to refill it, that limited amount of bourbon would have a pretty big impact, overall impact on your bottle. So I come up with the idea of having a pre-blend bottle. And uh, so when I get ready to fill this, which is full right now, because I did it the other day, I use my pre-blend bottle. So, so the idea here is that when I get ready to replenish this Slayer bottle, I'm using the pre-blend bottle that has many, many, many and anytime I refill it, I will take a big selection of the best bourbons I have on hand. So that when you get ready to put a, a, a refill on your permanent Solaire bottle, there's not any one, two, or a few bourbons having a big impact on the whole thing. It's still, you're still getting a really intense blend of the whole thing. And that's what I was about to do now, is pick out uh, some of the better bourbons to uh, fill my pre blend bottle back up. Okay, so the the idea is uh, again, uh, all of these bourbons have been used, and, and they're they're in in both both of these blends. Uh, but when nowadays, you know, some of them are, I've, I've tried to have really good bourbons all the time, but sometimes they you know you just you, you one just didn't really, doesn't really appeal to you. 
And so I would use that bourbon one time and then maybe not necessarily use it in the past, use it for uh, j just for a, to have a single drink sometime. Uh, and so I was just going to go through here and kind of pick out some that, and the ones I put over here are, I'm not going to include in this blend. Uh, this is excellent, so I'll be using it. I've got a couple more here, uh, Buffalo Trace, Booker's. This is, this is excellent, but there's only a little bit left, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, uh, this is uh, Weller Antique. I'm waiting till we get some Weller 12. Uh, this has been opened, but never drank out of. Uh, I'm waiting till I get some uh, uh, Weller 12, and we're going to make some poor boy pappy out of it. Uh, Knob, Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve. Wild Turkey Long Branch. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. <laughs> Look at there. I didn't realize didn't I already had that. <laughs> they look, I mean, can easily run together. You need, you're going to have to keep a spreadsheet. What are you doing? Uh, I think we read on this. Now, that's still way too many. Let's, uh, for, for this time around, uh, let's go through and pick out, say, Let's pick up 10 of what we think is the best. That one's in there. This one would be in. Be. Probably that Weller. Oh, huh? Yeah, I would say that, that Eagle Rare. That's what you got. Or not Eagle Rare. Rare for you. I don't remember about that one, but I think it's pretty good. Probably that now. Did you say regular Weller? Well. It's not really in the same category as some of these. I still haven't had that long branch, actually. Huh? So I haven't actually had that long branch. 